Hello, we're not at home today. We are out in Blackpool for somebody's birthday. We have already been into the Sea Life Centre and the Waxworks. It was absolutely packed. I will have to put a video in with some music on it and I'll be back in a minute. Finishing in there, we went to Primark where Abby spent a lot of her birthday money on stitch pajamas, pin badges, socks, dress. We have just stopped in a little cafe for tea, so we might just have a little wander around because all the shops are shut now. So we're gonna have a little wander around before heading to the arcade where somebody's gonna spend several hours on the 2p machines. <laughs> is still going. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're finally home. I'm a little bit behind on Abby's cake. We're supposed to have it finished for her birthday today and it currently just looks like this. It is just an empty little barrel. I have started filming it as a tutorial though so I'll have to see how that goes if I eventually get to finish it. Um, I can't finish it tomorrow because we are back at Blackpool tomorrow. I managed to pick up one of the, they're called the big ticket for Blackpool so it's like seven attractions or seven things on one ticket. So we used the Sea Life Centre and the Waxworks today and then tomorrow we, got, we can go to the circus, the tower ballroom, the top of the tower and we can go to the dungeons as well but... <laughs> Abby is not keen on that idea. So yeah, in terms of cake, what you missed last week was this four tier Toy Story cake with Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head on top. It also had the two Toy Story aliens and then it had some very subtle hints to other characters. A few people spotted them and a few people just did not know where they were. The top tier was Bo Peeps like little pantaloons. 
She had a, like the little pattern on the bottom of, her, bottom of her bloomers. Then we had Buzz's quote, so that's where Buzz came in. There was lots of rope detail, so that was Woody's roundup for Woody. And then the bottom tier, the little blue scallop shape, is the top of Jessie's shirt. So that's where she came in. Uh, that was delivered to Rivington Hall Barn. I have only, that's my only second time I've been there, but it is still one of my favourite venues. I have been to hundreds of venues. The staff at Rivington Hall just knocked them all out of the park. <laughs> Like, they're just so helpful. You you pull up outside and there's, there's always somebody there asking you what you're bringing, showing you to the table where it's going. There's a little buzz of people walking around and doing things there, all speaking to you. And it looks amazing inside as well. There's always twinkly lights going on, big wooden beams, lots of woodland sort of flowers. It's just a really nice venue. And how amazing were the couple's Toy Story box? <laughs> this was for place settings for where people were sitting. I thought this was amazing. So yeah, that was the only cake I did last week because it was a four tier. And then this week, I wasn't supposed to have any cakes, but obviously I have to make Abby one. She missed one last year. Fingers crossed she's not going to miss this year's because it's only half done. I may have to finish it on Thursday. Yeah, it's quite late now. It is 20 past 10. We haven't been home that long. So I'm off to bed and then we've got to do it all again tomorrow. We are back again, but it is super rainy today. You can see the lift going up. The lift's just gone up to the top of the tower. What black is that? It is a Blackpool Football Club. Oh. <laughs> this is Winter Gardens in Blackpool. We're still in the car park, so we've got quite a good view of it. Um, but this is where they put a lot of shows on. But there it is, that's what's on. We've got kinky boots on at the minute. Plans have now changed. It was too busy in the tower, um, but we do have 90 days to use our ticket, so we're going to come back on hopefully a quieter day. I know it's a school holidays and I know it's going to be busy, but none of us do well with crowds, especially this one. <laughs> Screaming babies in prams, there's only so much we can take. We're going to come back on a different day. We're walking down the quieter end. It's raining. I've got to stop for the minute, but I would rather walk in the rain than try and deal with all those crowds. Even though it is raining, there are people, masses of people still walking down the front. So we've chosen to walk on the nice quiet side. That's just the queue to get into the water park. <laughs> Spotted Freddy Krueger <laughs> one of the windows. We are now in the Pleasure Beach. We managed to get in. <laughs> we, managed, we managed to get in for free with the Sea Life leaflets because we've been in the Sea Life Centre. There was a leaflet in there that could get us in for free. And um, when you get in for free, you can get on the train in the maze, the river boat, and you can see the little fountains and stuff. So we thought we'd have a walk around the Pleasure Beach. <laughs> and now we're on the train. We walked 
from south back up to north where we parked the car. It is now half past four, we're all starving. So we're back in the car to get some tea. Finally dried off a bit. I have put the heating on because it was freezing. I'm in my pyjamas. I have got my robe. Adam's in the kitchen making Doritos and we're sat watching Doctor Who. And we've just got to the point where we finally figure out who River Song is and we did not see that coming at all. It's ten past nine, we're probably going to sit here and watch a couple more episodes just, be, just to see where the heck this is going and then we're going to bed. I have to apologise, it is actually Sunday today but believe me, you have missed nothing. I actually can't remember what the last thing was that I filmed or what day it was. I finished Abby's cake I can't even remember if I told you what I was even making. <laughs> but it was this Jack Skeleton versus Jack Sparrow. So I just call the cake Captain Jack Cake. I managed to film this one for a tutorial. It is not edited yet though, but it will be coming soon. Um, the inside of this one, we tried bubblegum. Bubblegum flavoured buttercream. Everybody seemed to like it. I just thought it was a bit of a weird combination to have a bubblegum flavoured cake but so I gave the cake to her on Thursday and we all had a slice. I was in a bit of a rush so instead of treasure she got jelly beans. <laughs> Why not? Every 10 year old's treasure are jelly beans. So yeah for the rest of Thursday and Friday you missed absolutely nothing. I have been sat here, I feel like I have been glued to this seat because all I've done is the usual emails. I know this sounds very boring, it's all the admin stuff but I'm not sure if you like to see that behind the scenes sort of stuff to see what is actually involved in running a full time cake business. So it's lots of emails to companies, emails to clients, whether they're waiting for drawings to be done or they're asking questions of how big the board will be so that they can buy stands. Um, I've still been working on Emma's website so I've done all the SEO stuff for that now. Saturday we did the uniform shop <laughs> again very boring. Holding up pants and skirts to the waist will it fit? Blazers. I think we spent a good £80 on uniform and still hasn't got it all yet. It's ridiculous. We did the food shop. So yeah, very, very boring stuff. Didn't think you'd want to see it. So I do apologise. It is now Sunday and I'm still sat at my desk. Um, Adam and the kids have gone out. They've gone to take back the uniform that doesn't fit. <sighs> so... They've headed on out and whilst the house is nice and quiet, I've just done the voiceover for the Toy Story tutorial which you will probably have already seen because that goes up on Tuesday and this doesn't go up until Thursday. So yeah, I have been doing the Toy Story tutorial today. I have a couple more emails to do because they just keep coming in. I have to apologise to my other friend Emma Lou Cakes. It was her birthday. I do have her birthday stuff. I just haven't had time to send it because I can't find a box big enough to put it in. The box is either too small or way too big. So once I find a box that will be sent off to her. Happy belated birthday. And oh, we picked up pins. How exciting. Highlight of my week. Picking up new pins. So we got this one for the Sea Life Centre. This was £3.50. I tried to get one with the name of where it's been because after many years and it's stuck up on the board, I'll have no idea what the pin was supposed to represent. <laughs> so we got this one. I actually really liked the jellyfish. They were so cool to watch. It was, they were like tiny little jellyfish, little mini jellyfish like this big and they were just absolutely mesmerising to watch. I'm wondering, I would quite like a tank of jellyfish <laughs> to chill me out. And for Madame Tussauds, the waxworks, we picked up this very fancy pin that has a little dangly bit and again has the logo on so I know what it's for. It's quite a big pin, but this was only £3. So we're going to stick those on the board. Uh, today is Disney Sunday. We have had to miss a load of films. I tried to watch them all in order. Some of them we don't have. Disney Life has stopped working, guys. I know I was raving about Disney Life, but there's some sort of glitch that has happened with the smart TVs and lots of people are having trouble not working so I decided to cancel it because we must have been the guinea pigs in the UK for this Disney life because America couldn't get it and I know America couldn't get it because a lot of Americans watched this and was asking me what Disney life was but America is now getting something called Disney Plus which is exactly the same thing it's like Netflix but full of Disney movies so they're getting Disney Plus first and then I think later on in the year the UK gets Disney Plus. So 
I think we were kind of like the guinea pigs to get Disney Life. Oh, that didn't work. So we're, we're gonna rejig it and call it Disney Plus. I might sign up for that as long as it works. There was a good selection of films on there. So I wouldn't mind signing up for it once I know how much it is and everything. So I will keep you updated on that. We are cooking a chicken roast for tea. So I need to actually put the chicken in soon. We are going to watch Moana. And yeah, I think I've rabbited on enough because I know it's very boring me just sitting here talking to the camera like this and not really showing you anything else. So if anything exciting happens, I'll pick the camera up. I have just sucked at vlogging this week.